We're gonna make leather bales. Here we go. These are bales of leather that we're gonna build our headquarters out of. Uh, we're gonna do 29,000 cows of leather. They're doing red and white this time. <clears throat> Let me show you how we make bales of leather to build our building with. We're here in, in Mexico right now and there's a, a lot of scrap leather everywhere. So we've had these machines made to make bales. See, so they're packing them into the corners. Tienen que empacarlos en los rincones. Sí, para que salga cuadrada. So it ends up square. They have to tuck it down into the corners. <clears throat> you want to make sure you do that. If you do this yourself, make sure you get them down into the corners, okay? So this is a 12 inch by 12 inch by 24 inch bale, okay, of leather. There are gonna be 29,250 29, cows of leather. There are, uh, I think like 11,000 of these bales, almost a half million pounds of leather, okay? Here he goes. Here we go. ¿De qué? ¿Cuántas toneladas es? Tres. ¿Cuántas toneladas de fuerza? Son tres, ¿no? Ese es tres y el otro de ellos es de una. So this is a three ton press. Ahí está. Dos wow. mil. Dos mil. So when they press this down, <clears throat> it gets way down there and then it raises back up. So what they're gonna do for that, I'll show you what they do for it, it's pretty cool. So that it gets super tight, but that they keep the pressure on when they wrap it. Watch this, see? Okay, they're gonna be cutting the leather or cutting the wire here that wraps around it. This is the measurement here. Six pieces, de largo, y de, de, no, oh, de, de ancho, okay. No son cortos. So you got two going now. Entonces la piel, cuando, cuando tenemos la paca de, dos, de 12 pulgadas de, ancho, de alto. So this is the measurement right here they're going after. And this matches, matches right here. And so that's how they're measuring uh, how much to put in. They just put a little too much in here. Oh, mira. Okay. Se lo puede hacer lentamente para okay. que la gente vea. Esto es un es alambre delgado Is para que no se atore la prensa en la, en la prensa al momento de empujar. Let's see, so we want, queremos esto. Aquí está bien, ya está, ya fue, le, nos pasamos un poquito. We're at that line right there. They went, it's a little too fat still, so they're gonna do it. Sigue. Lentamente para que la gente.
Y así se hace como un seguro, como una... Como una presilla. Ok. So this is the thinner ones. ¿Cuántos van de largo? Tres. Tres, Tres. de largo. Y seis cortos. Al momento okay. que corto, chicote un poco, eh. Vale. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now he's going to start passing the wires through. La lambre pasa ahora no? Los amarres van así. Mira. No así. Se hace así, y luego así, y luego así, y luego se regresa así. Así. So you wind it down and then back up again. Se regresa para arriba para que no se haga así. Oh, okay. So it doesn't unravel with all the pressure. They they go down and then they wind it back up over the top of the one that went down. Pretty cool. Es como un candado. Okay. ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene haciendo esto? Esto pues ahora con usted. No, pero vacas. ¿Cuánto hace la primera vez que nos vimos? No, pero vacas de cosas. Ah, Reciclando ya, eso. Ya hace como unos 30 años. So he's been doing this for about 30 years. Don Miguel, ¿no? Hey, hey Don Miguel. He's been doing this for 30 years and now he's showing us how to do it. Here we go. Ready? Listo. We're going to take off this. Release it here. Okay. Yeah, me toca hacer en lo que él pasa los alambres, botarle los seguros. Okay. He's gonna clean that out a little bit. That's where the wires go. Yeah. Okay, lentamente. Okay. Okay, so we made about 3,000 bales so far. I think altogether we're doing like 11,000 bales. Okay. Lentamente. Okay. Se jala para que el alambre quede bien. So it pulls it so the wire is all nice and tight. Muy bien tensito. No se vuelve a jalar para poder trabajarlo. Es una, dos, tres. Luego tres de regreso que son más del segundo. Una, so three going down dos, again. Make it safe. Tres. So six. Okay, so these pass on top of the wires that came through. Now, and then wind it around three times up and three times down. Duct tape, they keep on wrapping the tape around it. Can I see your glove? You know, tip, tip, main signal to, to one thing, to one thing. All right, all through.
Okay. Después se cortan. Now we cut these. Por la parte de atrás para que no queden como los picos hacia afuera. So he's cutting them from behind so you don't get the pointy part sticking out. That's thoughtful right there. So we're covering the outside of these with plaster. And lime, because that's what lets it breathe. If you cover it with stucco and stuff, you might get, uh, if it doesn't breathe, concrete or something, then it's, it causes, and it can cause problems. That's what they do with straw bale construction for homes. Okay. Ahora. So now it gets really tight because it raised up like an inch or two as it expands out and bloats. It wants to expand out. Now it's super, super. I can't even get my finger in there. Look at that. That's great. Okay. So now, I'm going to put that bar in there. Now what? Out of key. Out of they're going to measure it, make sure it's 12 inches. Because that's our construction. We're planning the walls like that. So that's 12. Now he's going to use the little scissors here. Okay. Okay. So the, the three wires go down below on the underneath, and then these six wires go on top of the three thinner wires. These are thicker wires. These are thinner wires that go this way. Thicker wires, six of them go this way. Okay? Hey. It's like a lock. It locks them, locks in. So these can't expand. Man, dude, I bet he can crush a two by four with one hand now after doing thousands of these. He <laughs> just <laughs> break off a piece of bamboo just in half with one hand. Muy bien. Gracias. So look at this. Here are the bales here. So we don't put them in the middle because it's too much weight. We have one more layer coming on. Don Miguel is packing that up for us. So these are around 70 pounds. Oh, he's putting the wires down that way, downwards, so that they don't catch other things. Para que no cachan. And then we have, oh, <laughs> look at that. These, are, these bales are 18 inches wide. 24 long and 12 inches tall. And we're doing that intentionally because we don't want to have columns of these. You want, I used to load at UPS, load boxes, um, and you don't want to have columns. So here we are. Check this out. I'll do a loop-de-loop. -loop. We have thousands of these already in the US for our building and storage. And we're going to start putting them up here really soon. So we can't load, can't load too much because the trucks will get too heavy. So actually when we're storing them up here, we put these bands around them so they don't fall. We don't want anyone to get hurt. But we have bales, bales everywhere. So now when we're building and stacking these, we're gonna put them by color. I don't want like pink, like that one right there with a little red there. I'm not as excited about that. This is gonna be, this is a fun project. So this guy's working on the, also working on bales right now. I'll buy his lonesome. Come on, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, there we go. That's how you make a leather bale. And we're gonna 29,250 cows of of leather. Uh, 480,000 pounds of leather for our building, and. We have, uh, I think it's about $4.4 million of leather uh, that we're building the building out of, but this is scrap, so it doesn't cost as much. But anyway, <laughs> not nearly. So anyway, this is pretty cool, huh?